Hey everybody, Steve here at East Law Memorial Park in Sacramento, East Sacramento. It's about, gosh, I think it's like maybe five, six, seven miles from downtown Sacramento. And I'm here to visit the final resting place of actor Neville Brand. He was cremated and his ashes are interred right here inside this beautiful historic mausoleum. And I'm gonna see if I can get in and see if I can find his gravesite. There's no GPS and no directions to his niche, but I'm assuming I can walk around and find it. His Finding Grave Memorial page does have a good picture of his niche and the alcove where his niche is located, so all I need to do is walk around. Hopefully the mausoleum isn't too enormous and won't take me too long to find his gravesite. So let's go see if we can find it. And fingers crossed that it's even unlocked and open today. This is a Sunday and it's early morning, so I'm definitely taking a chance. Well, I lucked out. There's a woman here working here today in the mausoleum, and she not only gave me a map of the mausoleum, but showed me exactly where it's located. You know, I was mistaken. I realized that his Finding Grave Memorial page did indicate that he was located in the Morning Glory room, which is up on the second floor and easy to find according to this map. And boy, do I feel like I've just stepped back in time. This mausoleum was built back in 1904 when the cemetery first opened just 50 years after the California gold rush, and it almost seems like it's a set from an old Western movie or TV show. Actor Neville Brand appeared in nearly 100 movies and TV shows. He was in classic movies like Stalag 17, Riot in Cell Block 11, The Birdman of Alcatraz, and in equally classic TV shows like Bonanza, Rawhide, Death Valley Days, Gunsmoke, and The Virginian. But he's probably best remembered by most for his starring role in the TV western Laredo, which aired from 1965 to 1967. On the series, he played the fictional character Texas Ranger Reese Bennett. Surprisingly, the series only lasted for two seasons, but it made a lasting impression and is still popular with fans today. Brand was born August 13, 1920 in Griswold, Iowa, and died from emphysema here in Sacramento, California on April 16th, 1992, at the age of 71. And it looks like he's had other visitors here besides me. Someone taped a photo of him to the outside of his glass display case, and I just spotted this photo of him here. This is a very nice columbarium alcove, and with the sunlight coming in through the window, it feels very homey, inviting, and more like a den or sitting room in someone's home rather than a dark mausoleum. I'll pan around so you can see a little bit more of the space. And before I forget to mention it, I also picked up this flyer, which promotes their guided historical walking tours of the cemetery, and Neville Brand's niche here is included on their tour, which I only just discovered today. And if you're like me and you were wondering what happened to the other central cast members of Laredo, actor Robert Wolders, who played rookie ranger Eric Hunter, died in Malibu, California, on July 12, 2018, at the age of 81. He was cremated and has no final resting place to visit at this time. William Smith, who played Joe Riley, lived to be 88 years old, dying in Los Angeles on July 5, 2021, and he was also cremated with no final resting place to visit. Peter Brown, who played Chad Cooper, died in Phoenix, Arizona on March 21, 2016, at the age of 80. According to his Find a Grave Memorial page, he was buried at Oak Hill Cemetery in Salome Springs, Arkansas, but there's no grave photo included on his memorial page. Philip Carey, who played Captain Edward Parmalee, died from lung cancer in Manhattan, New York on February 6, 2009 at the age of 83. His Find a Grave Memorial page says that he's buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in the Hollywood Hills but like Peter Brown, his memorial page also does not include a photo of his headstone. But the next time I'm there, I'll stop by and see if I can find it. So do you remember Neville Brand and Laredo? If so, please share your memories with us in the comments section. Well, I'm so happy I was able to find his final resting place today and share it with you. It sure brings back a lot of memories to me. How about you? Until our next trip to the cemetery together. Thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.